I'm floating in the water off of New York City in front of the Marmac 306. That's the big barge that's going to lay cable from Brooklyn out towards an offshore wind farm in the ocean. The 300-foot vessel started work this month, digging the trench for the cables that will transmit the electricity generated by Equinor's $5 billion Empire Wind Project all the way to the Brooklyn power grid. It's expected to provide enough power for 500,000 homes. On deck of the barge, you can see the cable that's gonna run under the water from here in Brooklyn out to the offshore wind farm. The yellow piece of machinery hanging off the side is the vertical injector. That's what's doing the preparation work to clear the seabed and then we'll later inject the cable under the sea floor. For now, the Marmac 306 is busy digging its trench, but it's doing so at an absolutely terrible time for the industry. Disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and rising interest rates hit offshore wind developers with soaring project costs in recent years, forcing cancellations and billions of dollars in write downs. In addition, the current presidential administration does not want to see any wind farms built and even halted work on the Empire project for a few weeks. Since President Trump took a lot of wind out of the industry's sails, this boat may also have to find other cable-laying work outside of offshore wind. 